Hey guys, let's do five records in five minutes. I'm Chris from Record Talk. I did my introduction slightly differently today. Why? I don't know. I improvised. Okay, so 1972 was 50 years ago. Lots of people have talked about their favorite albums from 50 years ago. I haven't done such a video yet. Uh, 2022 is almost over, so let's get into some of my favorite records from 1972. Now, it'll be mostly pretty obvious stuff. We've got David Bowie with the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. You've got cool songs like Starman, Lady Stardust, Suffragette City, of course, Ziggy Stardust. And this album is so old that even the cover of this by Bauhaus is really old in and of itself. It's probably like 40 years old. All right. 1972. Yeah, I never learned to play guitar, but if I did, I would have to learn, you know, that um, riff from Smoke on the Water. Um, so, of course, Richie Blackmore played that. Ian Gillen sang... It was the Mark II, the classic version of Deep Purple. And you've got songs on here like Highway Star and Never Before. And, of course, Smoke on the Water and Space Truckin'. And every good stoner in the 70s and 80s, uh, every good party boy would be listening to some Machine Head. Um... To go back maybe a little bit closer to the David Bowie sort of motif will be my next record. Um, and so we've got some Lou Reed Transformer. So a lot a lot of people would think, oh, Lou Reed, he, he, looks, he looks a little too creepy for us. This, this is a little bit too urban. This isn't like boom, 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 boom. But of course we've got... Uh, Walk on the Wild Side um, is, of course, the most famous song on here. You've got Perfect Day, Satellite of Love, and all the good stuff. So this is probably my favorite of the 1970s era of Lou Reed. I'm also a fan of that late 80s, early 90s version of Lou Reed. So, um, and next we've got... Um, you'll notice I didn't take this one out of the sleeve. I'm going to demonstrate a reason why. So I've got this very old beat-up copy that I inherited of Joni Mitchell for the Roses. It has a slight seam split. Yes, it's a gatefold, but the front cover is completely detached uh, from the rest of the record. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll grade this as VG minus minus. Uh, so there you go, a pretty beat-up copy of Joni Mitchell for The Roses. I'll be honest, I don't listen to Joni Mitchell a ton, so I haven't gone out of my way to try to upgrade this. The vinyl is actually in much better shape than the cover. But the vinyl isn't in as bad of shape as that cover. I probably just wouldn't even have this record. Uh, so, all right, let's put that back in. And then the last record we're going to show you is also Inside a Sleeve, but this is a fancy new Vinyl Me Please Classics. Um, I think this was maybe the first or one of the first records I ever got through Vinyl Me Please, so we're on the jazz tip now. McCoy Tyner with Sahara. And so we'll show you the label. Um, nice heavyweight vinyl. Milestone, that's glaring pretty bad. And so, and uh, of course you got uh, McCoy playing piano, but he's also playing um, a lot of Japanese instruments on here as well. Um, Makoto, uh, which he has there. Um, and so... Um, McCoy Tyner has long experimented with non-Western modality, modalities alongside John Coltrane. So yeah, this is a pretty cool listen. 